Hello, I've decided to make another speed paint because I have an unhealthy obsession with watching them. In reality, I've had this idea for a while and was excited to act on it. So here we are. I drew my multi-fandom OC Dragon S in six different show styles, and I'm pretty proud of the outcome. Before this intro is too long, here's the speed paint. The first style I decided to try was actually my comfort show style, Danny Phantom. Now, if I'm honest, I've basically drawn this design twice before. The first time was a stress reliever drawing, and the second was a draft for this video. Clearly, I hold the show very close to my heart, and probably will draw the style most often in the future. I did my best to keep to the thick and simple line art like the show has, and simplified her colors down significantly. I based her body off of Danny's sister, Jazz, too. The only problem I had with this, and another style here soon, is the fact that in the show, Danny's hair color changes. Adding more blue to this would make it a bit excessive, so I just stuck to her civilian hair color. The second one is Winx. I realize Winx has gotten back into the light again after everyone hated the Netflix thing, and the designs are to die for, so I thought, why not give it a go? I don't like the shape of the hair for this one, but everything else was pretty easy to do. I noticed in the process of drawing this that Winx characters have insanely long bodies though, or is it just me? It just threw me off a bit while I was drawing it.
third is Lolly Rock. I went back to watch this show after I remembered seeing it a while ago, and I'm dreading the fact that there isn't a third season. I looked into it, and it seems the sad truth is, we're not gonna see Mephisto again. No, seriously, the show's cute, but I'm all there for Mephisto. He is the show for me. Okay, but really, was I the only one who took until the second season to realize that Ophidia was a planet, not a kingdom, and that's why Talia and Ariana were there? I thought it was a little random at first, then I saw that Iris' princess dress was different and she could call upon her chinilla whenever she wanted, and more overpowered elements that made more sense knowing she was a princess of a planet rather than a kingdom. Anyways, the thing about the Lolly Rock girls is whenever they go into their princess dresses, their hair color changes to an unnatural color. I get that it's their natural color because they're Ophidians, but I couldn't put it on Dragoness or she'd look too close to Lena or Talia. I tried and hated it. Sorry. While we're on the subject of colors though, Dragoness in her original design has no gold or yellow in it. Every dress in this show tended to incorporate gold somehow, so I couldn't escape it and had to add it. You'll notice too that I had to change Dragoness's logo for a teardrop shape, since most of the dresses revolve around a singular shape, and Oriana claims the circle in the show, so... yep.
The fourth is the beloved Miraculous. I didn't really plan out the design for Miraculous very well, as I don't even know her weapon, but it's whatever. I put the minimal amount of effort into this one, and it shows because I decided I didn't want to try and shade it like it was 3D in the show. This one was my least favorite of the six. I'll be honest, I don't really know why I put her hair in a ponytail, it just seemed more fitting. Most of the heroes anyway have their hair up in Miraculous, so I guess it just follows the pattern. The fifth is Teen Titans. I just got into Teen Titans recently and I love the show's style, so I had to draw it. This is the one that doesn't stand out as much because the show's actual designs differ dramatically, so I basically merged Raven and Starfire's costumes and switched up the colors so they matched Dragon S. Other than that, there isn't much special about her. The final style is Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm plenty aware that next to no one will know what this show is, and for that, shame on you! This show is so, so amazing, at least up to the second season, then 3 and 4 try and change things up, and it didn't really work. But regardless, I love this show so much, and the animation? It's gorgeous. I noticed that this show is one of the only ones of the shows I picked that doesn't scrunch up the girl's waist. And you know why? Because the protagonist is male, and they focus on male body types over female. It's just interesting, I guess. I based her design heavily off of White Tiger, who is the only heroine in the team. That's why her logo is at her hip in this one rather than on her chest, because White Tiger's emblem is there too.